Today we're going to learn about uh, linking parts in virtual mesh. Um, as you see in the centre of the screen, we have two simulated latch hooks. At the top we have a one and a half inch rod. In the middle we have a one inch rod and at the bottom we have a half inch rod. Also a nut positioned there. Now, in this uh, part on the right, if we click it like this, it will move all together because they have been linked, they are parts that are connected together but not like an axle and a bolt, they are linked together. So, if I try and move this one the same, you will see that only the centre part moves. So, what do we do to get it linked? We click the top one, select also with the shift key held the middle one, go to the top to part link and this box will appear. Tick in these two boxes OK. Now click on the centre one and the bottom one and part link click the parts again uh, select the parts again. We'll also select this nut and this bottom one part uh, link together. So with a bit of luck now these three axle rods and this nut should all be linked together. Right. Now then, let's move on a little bit to um, this wall winder. This wall winder, basically, to keep it simple, has a sprocket here and surrounded by seven axle rods. Now, if these axle rods have been positioned like the previous latch hook rods, so if we select this item and we centre like that, that will circular, go round that centre axle rod. But we don't want it to move through there, we want it to move through that screw. So if we then go at 90 degrees on the rotate 90 degrees we go like that, like that, like that, like that and it moves the whole lot 90 degrees. Note that these rods are not physically connected, they are just leaning against the sprocket. Okay, so on the right hand side we have again the same parts connected together we do the same but this time they haven't been linked or not all of them have watch what happens when I rotate 90 degrees again one two these rods have not been linked again to do it you just select this part and select the, the um, sprocket and these will then work like in the first one. Hope that helps you. That's all for now. Thanks for calling. Bye bye.